Um, I chose environmental science at Southampton because um, I was interested in the pathway system and it meant that I could uh, focus in one particular area but if I found I didn't like that I could move to another area at the end of the first year and it gave me the opportunity to choose. Um, I also emailed some environmental consultancies and companies and they said that students from Southampton were up the top with other good uh, environmental science universities. Southampton, I found personally, was a really pretty campus, prettiest mm, I've saw out of... environment as well. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> out of... Um, <laughs> it's, it's really bad compared to the rest of them. It's fine, you can cut it. Uh, <laughs> Um, because it's a really pretty campus, um, for me personally it was Simon Kemp's talk that um, swung me, definitely. Um, sat here, because I, I have to admit I was considering just doing ecology as a degree, but when I came here and listened to Simon and fully understood the depth and breadth that environmental science mm -hmm. at the University of Southampton can offer, I knew I wanted to come here from the first time I saw the University of Southampton. Yeah, I think also the modules I was really interested in, yeah. the breadth of the modules, different types of modules, the professors, their research, what they've done. Also, the NOC was a big um, attraction to me, simply because um, I was interested in marine biology to begin with and oceanography. So, um, yeah, but the campus was really nice, very green, uh, nice accommodation, yeah. um, a large range of different activities you could take part in. Why did you choose to study at Southampton? Well, I guess um, I love the idea that it's a campus-based university and it's quite pretty campus, as you can see, like the person tree and grassy. And then also, importantly, it's ranked really high on the university league tables, so that's obviously a big selling point for it. Yeah, um, yeah, mm. exactly. I mean, I think that a campus life is really, really fun and this is one of the best campuses that I ever saw when I went to go and look around them. So, uh, yeah, and actually I think that the degree is really, really good. It's really diverse. So you can really do any aspect of the environment, which is, which is great. Uh, for Southampton itself, um, yeah. it's in a great location because it's big enough that it's got everything you could ever need, but it's not too big, so you can get around it really easily, especially with the uh, Unilink bus service as well. I'm not getting paid to say that, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Unilink bus service, uh, which is free if you're in halls. Um, so you can basically travel anywhere around Southampton. The other great thing is the New Forest is like 20 minutes away, so you can just get the train down to there, have a walk, have a cycle, whatever you like. Uh, the clubs in Southampton are also very good. It's a big variety, from Jesters to Sobar, or you can go upmarket a bit, you can go to like, what's the upmarket ones? Orange Rooms. Oceana's fairly upmarket, and it's the biggest in the UK too. Yeah, we have the biggest Asia. Um The Stags is also a great place just across there for a um, quick drink, especially after exams as well. One of the best things about environmental science is the pathway system at Southampton um, because it allows you to have some sort of structure of where you should really go with it, but the freedom of choice of which direction you want to go within that pathway, it's really, really good. Why did you study at the University of Southampton? Um, <laughs> Southampton's consistently rated really well in the league tables um, over the past few years and I mean it has a really good reputation for you know academic academia and um, research um, and also on the visit days the, the feel of the campus is just it's really nice and the, everyone that you meet like on the open days everyone was really friendly really nice and the, the course came across really well on the on the UCAS open day and it just really it stood out for me as out of the five universities that I now went down to. Yeah, I chose Southampton uh, because of um, on the open day the lectures were really welcoming. You got to talk to students, the, to the students. And that was it was really good to see what was going on. Uh, also for me, it's, uh, Southampton obviously is quite close to Portsmouth, which uh, working with the Navy means getting to the Navy base is quite easy and it's quite close. And also Southampton University Navy Unit is one of the uh, best ranked in the country. So it's uh, interesting in getting involved in the Navy is definitely a place to go. The city as well is really good because there's places to go out at night for like everywhere and 
like the shopping's good as well, which is bad because of your student loan, um, and it shouldn't go on shopping. And the train station's really good if you want to go home or have people here to visit as well. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed my first year here. It's been really good fun. Third year, it's been a pretty intense ride, but hard every yeah. <laughs> minute of it. Um, so I guess the big focus of third year is your research project, which is a yeah. double-weighted module and double-weighted year. And I think it's fair to say that all of us probably picked something which we're really passionate about. Yeah, I think that that's really yeah. important because you have to spend so much, so much time on it that you really need to love it. And it is that fact that you do want to work on it, and it's really exciting when you when you finally finish it and you get the results. That you were looking for. Yeah. I think what I've loved about it is that although it's been stressful, like it's been like my project and it's been I've been able to do nurture it, make it what I want it to be, and it's so satisfying. Like, as you said, that once you finish it, you're like, This is mine, I've done it all myself. So that's been really enjoyable. Yeah, I've really, yeah. really liked it. I chose to study at Southampton because not only is the campus uh, really beautiful and uh, full of lots of green, as you can see, uh, but the city is really good as well, um, not only just for nightlife but for shopping and there's the docks as well, there's so much to do. You can get to the Isle of Wight really easily and get to London really easily on the bus, it's really cheap. Um, so not only is the place beautiful but uh, it's a really good city to come to. So why did you choose to study at the University of Southampton? Um, well basically it came really highly recommended to me by a number of family and friends who've been to the university and had really good, really good positive experiences here. Um, also it was really highly ranked when I looked at kind of league tables of where I'd like to go. And um, I really liked the uni on the open day, I was really impressed by the campus. Um, by the lecturers and the way they kind of set it up so you got to meet other students and we got offered a tour of the halls and stuff so I was just generally really impressed by the open day because it's one of the best courses in the UK and I know environmental sciences here is renowned and it's got some great lecturers uh, like Simon Kemp, Pete Shaw and Paul Kemp and so on and um, they've all been very good researchers they tell you in the visit days so the visit days really convinced me to come here um, learning about the prospects of me getting a job um, the th things that are available to us as students and the research projects that are ongoing it seemed like something I would open up my career and uh, a great choice for what I want to do in the future. Um, the year has been brilliant, I've absolutely loved it. Uh, the fact the things that go on on the social side of environmental sciences are just as great as the course itself and so they go both hand in hand why I chose here. While other unis don't exactly have that social side to the course, um, I got the feeling from the visit days that environmental sciences were like one big family. Um, the fact that they all got along great and the students loved the course. They were willing to do things, willing to convince us on visit days how great it was. It sounded too good to be true, a bit uh, cheesy, <laughs> but uh, that's what they made it sound like. We're on in five. <laughs> yeah, we're on five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting to know Southampton Water pretty well with some of the courses that you did. Very Sierra White and have a really good day out and learn about the environment.